Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're hearing from Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, <clears throat> this is a Zodiac reading for Gemini for January 2023. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. <laughs> so these are pre-shuffled, right? I just want to shuffle one extra time. I just, I just feel like it. I'm just gonna pull some cards. Oh, and you know, and I just did a reading because you know I I I had a big separation between the readings and. I accidentally pulled an extra oracle for um, Taurus. Uh, I'm not going to do it for the rest of you guys. I'm just going to say, you know what? The, the the oracle was like, get your exercise on, basically, you guys. Start thinking about your health. Get your exercise on. Health, mind, body, right? That, that's what it was. So that's for everybody. All right. So sorry about that. But... Life goes on, right? This too shall pass. <laughs> Tell me about Gemini, though. Tell me about Gemini. What Gem what's Gemini got uh, going on? Um, let's get those first. Let's just look at these first. I'm going to do it in the triangle. I did Taurus is different. I don't know why it came out so different, but you know what? If that's the way it came out for them, that's the way it comes out, okay? If you've got Taurus in your chart, you might want to check it out. It was a pretty intense reading. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune and Nine of Cups. So somebody here is basically in the energy of trying to uh, find balance in their life, right? Because something good has happened. Something good has happened here for somebody, all right? And, and you're trying to deal with it in a balanced way. Okay. Maybe before uh, you had some luck in some situation and you didn't deal with it right. This time I feel like somebody's doing something different. All right. Involving that difference is somebody here has decided that they want to share whatever this wheel of fortune is as a wish fulfillment. They want to share with someone right now. This is you or someone else Take it how it resonates, but um, yeah, you know, let's go ahead and grab uh, these. These are this is the bicycle uh, frosted deck. Okay, you guys, this is the uh, crystal vision. Okay, I don't I don't remember saying saying it. So whoops, all right. Tell us a little bit about that page of pentacle energy for uh, Gemini for January twenty twenty three, please. Tell us about that page of pentacles energy. Okay. So <clears throat> this is the card of the Empress in this deck. All right. Yes, it says Queen of Cups, but the Queen of Cups doubles as the Empress, right? So she's got a lot of love to give this and that. And you may be in that energy. How, feeling uh, like you have a lot of love to give. Male or female. Male or female. Doesn't matter. What else do we have here? <clears throat> All right, you got a lot of passions going on too. And this doubles as the, the magician. So you might also be trying to manifest this stability or balance in your life, okay? You've been uh, possibly uh, hoping for something uh, balanced, equal, or maybe some finances to improve or something. You've been trying to manifest that, uh, you know. So what else is going on here? And you're releasing any kind of burdens that you had going on. So, and that's, you know what? That's the number one thing to, that you got to do here. If you want to find balance in your life is you got to release whatever burdens you got going on because they're not doing anything to help you. You know what I'm saying? If anything, these burdens are holding you back. This is people, places, and things, Right. Maybe somebody, maybe it's time to do uh, somebody for, for them to do a clean out. I'm hearing, you know, garage sale. I don't know. That's the first time I ever said something like that, <laughs> you know? Oh, at the bottom of the deck, before I cover it up, we do have the seven of cups. So, you know, you have options here uh, in regards to whatever's going on for you at the moment. So with this Wheel of Fortune, you know, this is in the upright. Things are going properly your way. You know, what else do we have for this Wheel of Fortune for Gemini for January 2023? Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. 
moon, right? I don't know why I'm hearing that, but there you go. Yeah, and you know what? There's nothing that you will be feeling defensive or upset about right now. You, I feel like you will do the clean out and the clean out might be in regards to relationships because maybe you've realized that you don't really have love for the people around you because maybe they don't have love for you. Uh-huh. That right there. So, you know, these the, they were probably making you feel defensive in the past. And, and maybe you're like, I don't want to feel that way anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because things happen to be going well. Okay, I'm also hearing another thing. This could be a family situation where your life is going good. You're on the right track. You're balanced. But you haven't seen your family for a while because, you know, you've been working on you. And then all of a sudden, the, va the family sees how well you're doing. They want to come rolling on in, you know, with the uh, the cases of beer and whatever. But all right, you're doing great. Let's party. And then, damn, they're bringing you back down. You know what I mean? So these this is this could be something like that. At the bottom of the deck, we have the three of wands. Somebody waiting for something. Are people waiting for you to get this fortune? I don't know. Let me get one more card. Let me get one more card. Some people might be waiting for you because they see you putting on all the work, waiting for you to become successful so they can creep right back in. Four of Cups. You're not going to accept any offers, you know, or somebody here is not going to be accepting any offers from anyone. Because they know better now, I feel like. Because they're they're going to find that balance. Remember the cards. or They're, they're going to find that balance. Because they're manifesting properly. They have love in their heart. They're manifest. These people, they're probably not very loving. You know, whoever they're around. I don't know. But someone here is not gonna, is not going to accept any offers from anyone. Not when they're in this Wheel of Fortune energy. They're not. No, no, no. Because maybe, like I said, somebody's been through this before and they've seen what happens when somebody comes into some sort of happiness. The vultures start circling. You know what I'm saying? These motherfucking vultures. In the end, you're going to find your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. Because you're going to let go of all those burdens you had. And then new things start coming in. You start attracting people more like you. And then that's when you may find wish fulfillment in your life. Okay. What was at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, five of cups. Look, people are going to be upset. But you know what? Shoot. You got, you got shit going on. You got things happening. You ain't got time for... Oh, we got to check the nine of cups, right? Tell us about this nine of cups. You don't got time for the bullshit. You only ta have time for high vibrational, balanced people. People who are cool, not there to try to burn you, rip you off. You know what I'm saying? Look. Three of swords. There's going to be some sort of heartbreak because somebody thought it was forever. Maybe somebody thought that they could take advantage of you forever. You know, all this could be vice versa, you guys. So just take it, you know. But somebody's wish fulfillment, who they thought they had, may not have it. Because of, you know, that's their karma. Somebody's karma for not, maybe for mistreating, for not being cool, for not being honest or fair or trustworthy or whatever, you know. But somebody is not fallen for whoever this is. Who wants to try to come in and, and schmooze them. Take take advantage. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a final card here. Okay, we got the eight of pentacles in the reverse. You see that? There, there's somebody here that they don't even, they don't want to work. Like, you know, like they don't want to work. They don't want to, they just want to get from others. or somebody around here like that. They try to schmooze off others. And, and, and somebody here might be looking at you. Because maybe you have something. You know what I'm saying? Be careful. You know? 
be careful. Don't fall for it. Look, two of cups. It's a, it's an energy of possibly like a, a very beautiful lady coming in or very handsome guy coming in. Try to sweet talk, you know, be careful. I'm just saying, and unless, unless you're firm and you're not giving shit up, but you don't mind the company, go for it. You know what I'm saying? But be careful of those out there trying to take advantage of other people, men and women, both. I'm not on, I'm not taking sides. Okay. So I want two more cards for Gemini for um, January 2023 for Gemini. What do we have for Gemini for January 2023? What do we have for Gemini for January 2023? All right, that's good. That's very, very good. <laughs> Look at also we have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Looks like you're going to be learn you're learning your lessons though. You know? I mean, maybe they suck the lessons, okay? But the best gift you could receive would be learning the actually learning those lessons, right? So it doesn't happen again, recognizing red flags and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay? So you're worried that you're not going to be able to work on things that you want to work with in, in regards to a certain situation, right? So, so, so this kind of looks like you have something in mind that you want, you want to do, but you're worried that you can't do it or yeah, no, that's it, right? That's, there's no, or. So this is uh, an obstacle for you. It's not advice. And the obstacle is you thinking that, that you can't do that, or uh, you won't be able to do it on your own, or I don't know, something like that, because the Eight of Pentacles is about working on your own craft on your own. Oh, I know what this might be. I know what this might be. And to some people, it's like nothing. Like to me, it's nothing. But to some people, it's a lot. This is about somebody who's afraid to be by themselves. Who's afraid to go out into hermit mode and reflect. Right? To be out on your own. Get a dog. Go out with the dog. Walk the dog. You need time alone. Like no other people around. You need to learn how to enjoy your own company. And you know what's so crazy is that phrase is what someone told me like 15 years ago. No, no, no. Like 12 or 13 years ago. And he was a Gemini. He's like, you need to learn to enjoy your own company. You know, not to me, but he was explaining that, you know, that's something that needs to be done because I've always had to be I've just been alone not by choice just no one ever want I wasn't you know I don't know <laughs> so you know so somebody here might just be afraid to be alone they maybe they don't know how to enjoy their own company or something like that you can and it's so nice because you know and if, if that's a sign that you need to learn that then there could be good and important things coming to you in the future. It's kind of like enjoy that time alone now because you may not have it in the future. And I'm talking about you may become busy. You may become popular. Something will take up the time. So enjoy that time alone right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's for somebody. That's not for everybody. And finally, you know, this is you finally putting something to an end because you want to build something brand new okay the world is a card of endings and then the next card we get would be the fool and this is you you know i don't know about you know taking leap of faith but you do want to start something new you know and you're using your intuition on how to do that you know what i'm saying so let's grab these up and let's find out what is this eight of pentacles in reverse about you not uh, wanting to be alone or not having the confidence that you can do this alone, you know? 
you want to know, I met somebody in the mountains uh, by the Apache stronghold in Arizona. I met this guy and his father passed. And I guess his father's last few words were go to the place and, and die or something like that. I don't, he told me this, this guy, he was living out in the desert in this Apache area, uh, Apache stronghold area. And he was living off the land. And, and he, he said, told me that he had to read the Bible and stay there for 40 days. And when his grandfather, when he said, go there to die, he meant go there to die as like the old person and arise anew. Right. So it's basically like going out and into hermit mode and finding yourself somehow, some way he chose to use the Bible or religions or things like that to assist him on his path. Uh, he didn't use his phone. He just had the Bible. He had no phone. He didn't. Uh, and yeah, he did like that. And I'm really wondering where that guy, what happened with that guy. Uh, but that was really, when he told me that story, I was like, wow, you know, this guy's on a real journey. You know, I myself am on a journey. I'm out of here on the road. Um, and, and I have chosen like to be alone also. And I also have chosen religion as my, my outlet. So, uh, maybe a lot of people are in that same energy. Maybe you will be, who knows? I don't know. Let's go ahead and find out what this eight of pentacles is. So let's just, just get this taken care of. Right. Look, ace of uh, swords, at the bottom of the deck. I spoke my truth to you guys. This is, this is truth for me, you know? I have no reason to lie to you anyways. Look, we have the three of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, like I said, this is about not working with no one else. This is about going on your own. You got to do it yourself. Be by yourself. Um, go find yourself some, you know what I mean? Without the humdrum and everybody in your ear. And you know what I'm saying? Because you ain't going to find answers that way. Look, yeah. Am I holding the cards upside down? No. It, you know, you're you're not very balanced. Somebody here is just really out of whack right here, right here. It's you or someone else. I don't know. Somebody's going through this. And it has to do with them. Okay. This is why <clears throat> I know why. I know why this is a problem. So, so the person is afraid to go out on their own because they're worried about their finances, about money coming in, right? Because maybe they don't have money to start out here with and, and they're not trying to work with others <clears throat> because, you know, I don't know why. Um, but I mean, if you're trying to go out on your own, you're not supposed to work with others, right? So, but somebody here is not financially stable and they might be waiting for money right now. This could be you or someone else. So <clears throat> maybe the financial situation is not good right now. At this moment, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you're not even single yet, or maybe you want to be <clears throat> something like that. That could be it too. Somebody here could be in a situation that you're not trying to, they're, you know, in the middle of getting out of. And this is where that wheel of fortune is. It came in. Maybe you spoke up, you, you separated from something that, you know, you didn't, it wasn't wish fulfillment and you want to go out looking for it now. You want to go out looking for that wish fulfillment. <clears throat> Tell me about this world card for Gemini for January 2023. Oh, shoot. I didn't see that one. Didn't see that coming. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. What else? One more card for the world card for Gemini. For, okay. Okay. We got two. It's okay. Look at that at the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Wands. This is the Strength card, the card of Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have Leo in your chart too. <clears throat> but you're strong. You're being strong. Or either you're being strong or you're not being strong. I feel like you're being strong, though. So we're going to put it back like that. Look, the lovers. You see that? You're ending something because there's love around the corner for you. You want new love. You are no longer mourning over the loss of any freaking relationship with anyone. You are over them. You're looking for love. There's no more heartbreak. There's no more sadness. It looks like you might even know who you want because we have the seven of cups in the reverse. And when it's in the reverse, that means that there's no options left, right? It's po possible because you already know the option that you want. Look, 
10 of freaking pentacles in the upright. This doubles as the wheel of fortune. This is the end of your reading, but it's, I just got chills. This is good for you, Gemini. Shoot, man. I wish I had Gemini in a major placement in my chart. I have it in my chart, but not, not in one of the major placements. This is a good reading. You know what I'm saying? This is, uh, this is you in, in, you know, success, wheel of fortune, energy, happiness, because you're going to make the right choice. You know, it's good. It, you don't, you don't want choices. It's not, you know, whatever this is, it's not a choice. It's the, what you want. You know what I'm saying? It's not choice, you know, and, and there you have it. This is freaking great. Lucky, lucky. Anyways, <laughs> If it resonated, you guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> we have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time.